In this video, we'll learn about UI Canvas, Script Events, and Script Canvas. I first start with going to the Entity Outliner and clicking on the HUD Entity. I then see in the Entity Inspector two components, the UI Canvas Asset Reference and a Script Canvas component. Click on the Open Canvas window icon to open the UI editor. Next, I go to the window's far left to the Hierarchy tab. I click on the Enemy Entity and right-click to bring up the menu. I will make a new empty element. Let's look at the properties to the right side of the window. Under the Name properties, rename this Enemy. Next, I will add a text component to the element. Let's change the text to a zero and change the text color to green. Let's move this in place on the canvas. I can change the horizontal text align to the left. Now, I just copy the text element and paste it as a child on the player life entity. I rename the element to life and move it into place on the canvas next to the player life. Next, I paste as a child on the player points element. Rename it to score and move it into place. Let's save the UI canvas. Next, we will make some script events. On our main title menu, let's click on the tools Asset Editor. Click on File, New. Select the Script Events. This new event, let's name it Enemy Count. I like to make sure to add all the tooltip names as well. I will need an event element. Let's click on the right plus icon. I name the method name number of enemies and also write a tooltip. These will be visible in Script Canvas. I also will need to add a parameter. Click on the plus icon. I will change this type to a number. Name the parameter enemy count and add a friendly tooltip name. Let's save this script event. I will need a few more script events. Let's make a new one and name it Hit Enemy. Add a new event and name it Hit Enemy. I create two new perimeters and name the first one points. The type is also a number. Name the next one life and make the type a number. I save this as hit enemy. I will make one more new script event. I will call this Missed Enemy. Create a new element and name it Missed Enemy. Next, let's create a new perimeter. This will also be a number type. 
Let's name it point. I save this script event as missed enemy. I will now go to the script canvas and open the HUD script. I will need to make a few new entity ID variables to store our variable IDs. Let's make a countdown, enemies, life, and score entity IDs. We can just leave all the default values for these variables. Now, let's make some new number variable types. A new enemy's life number to store our enemy's life. This will hold enemy life tracking not shown to the player for hit and miss enemies. I create a lives number type. This is our player's life. A score number type. This will track our current game score. An enemy totals numbers type. We will set this to 14 for now. I change the initial value source from to from component so that you can change the number from the entity component in the main editor. 